How's it going, VC? Tim here again. Hopefully the lighting's okay on this video. But, um... I found that doing my, um... Concert t-shirt collection right now is kind of a... T task for me. Because... I don't have a real steady thing to set my phone on. And trying to hold the shirts and have the phone... How the phone wasn't working. So when I get a more steady rig for my phone, I'll be doing that video. I can show you one concert t-shirt. Nickelback Feed the Machine, Las Vegas 2018. The one I just returned from. I would like to discuss Nickelback's Feed the Machine album on this video. Now, I think part of the reason why Nickelback gets hated on is they do put so many ballads on, so many softer songs on their album. But this album here, to me, there's a good mix between rockers and ballads. And it's a solid album, I think. Um... My favorite songs are the title track, song called <clears throat> Song Called Home, which is a ballad. My ultimate favorite is um song called The Betrayal Act Three. It tells the story of the Bi in the Bible where Judas Iscariot is betraying Jesus. Excuse my brother's sneeze. I don't know if you heard that in, from the other room. After the Rain's a good song. Another slower paced song. For the River is a um, good rock song. Reminds me of their song on Silver Side Up, Where Do I Hide? Talking about somebody escaping from prison. Um... But to me, this is a pretty solid, pretty solid album. Um, track I could really do out, do without is "Every Time We're Together," eh, another party song. Eh. Um, "Coin for the Ferryman." I forgot to mention that the second song in the album is a good rocker. "Song on Fire" is another sappy love song, but. It's growing on me. It must be nice. Kind of a vulgar song, but I still enjoy it. Talking about people who grew up and are feeling entitled. You know, the rich Chris kids, that type of thing. And life doesn't really work that way. Is, I think was what the song's trying to get at. And one track I neglected to mention is Silent Majority. Silent Majority. You know, if, you know, and that basically saying, you know, some of the world's troubles would be averted if more people had the guts to speak up because there really is a silent majority in this world. I you know, without trying to get too political, but I tend to agree with that. Um, definitely, to me, this album is far more enjoyable to me than um, No Fixed Address, except for maybe three or four songs on that. That album was dreadful. Um, but just wanted to give you my impressions on that album and Nickelback is a band that you know I'm on I'm definitely on the like side you know I went to all the way to Vegas to see them I've seen them play in five different cities in the U.S. I uh, haven't had a chance to meet any of them 
Although one of the waitresses at one of the restaurants in the hotel told us they came in there quite often when they were there doing their shows at the Hard Rock. It was a run of five. It was a run of five shows in about a week. They did there and saw the second to last one last Friday, March second. Uh, well, that's my little bit of a rambling video for today. Um, hope you're all doing well. Keep rocking, keep collecting the music, keep posting videos, and I will talk to you all later.